Now that we have the data in the application, we want to see how to mark it as complete and then rule a line across it or strike it out. For example, if do some coding is completed, I'm going to click on update, mark it as complete and then click update and that will strike it out to show that this task is completed. If you're new to our channel, I'm going to invite you to click on that subscribe button if you have any interest in programming, especially in Django, so that you'll not miss our future videos. So step number one is to create the form that will be used to update the task. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in forms.py. Let's find the forms.py and paste the form right here. So we're going to have title, due, and complete as the fields, right? So in the title, we're going to have a placeholder and the placeholder will be task title. I'm going to save this and then move to the next step, which is creating the views. All right, so I'm going to copy the views and paste it in views.py. So right below the list task view, I'm going to paste it here. Now to update a task or to update an object, we're going to pass in the ID or the primary key of that object so that we can uniquely select it and then update the values. All right, so since we're going to have a complete field in the form, we can now click on that checkbox to mark this task as complete. So when I switch over to the view, we have the query set that will uniquely identify the object with the primary key or the ID of that object and then assign it to the query set variable. All right? So you're gonna have task the objects that get the ID of that object and whatever object is selected, that's gonna be assigned to the query set. So we're gonna pass this ID to the URL. So we're gonna have a form and that form is what we just created in forms to py, that is the update form, all right? So that's what we're gonna give to this view. And whatever, object is selected on this query set that will be the instance for the form so once we click on that object we're gonna see the details of that object rendered in the form all right so now once we have all that data displayed in the form we're gonna do a post request that is what we're gonna click on update all right so once we click on update, it's going to do a post request and it's going to re-render the form and then check if the form has validations. That is if we add any validation to this form, which we don't have yet, but later you can add it. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any corrections on that or if you want to see how that is done, you can refer to other videos that I have in the channel. All right, so if we have any found validations, it's going to check whether it has matched or it has passed all those validations and then save whatever update we've added to that data and then redirect it back to the home page, all right, which in this case is going to be the list task view. All right, so since that will be added, as a home page in the urls.py file. If I click on that urls.py file, I'm going to create the update task template. Okay. Or we can just go and then create the URL and then later create the template. Okay. So this is just the regular context that we've been using that defines what will be rendered on the browser. Okay, in this case, it's just the forms. So now the next step is to create the URLs, right? So I'm going to click on the code 
or select it, copy it, and then paste it in URL of UI. So right below the home URL, I'm gonna create an update URL, and that will be the one responsible for passing the ID or the primary key of that object that is selecting. All right. So in views, it's gonna be match with the update task view okay all right so in a previous video we imported the views from the to do app so we're gonna link this url to this update view all right and we're gonna give it a name of update task so you're gonna see how we're gonna use this name to identify which url we are referring to or which url is gonna take effect once we click on update all right so that is done by giving it a name and this is the name that we're gonna add in the template in the list template so that we can click on update and then that will take us to this url so that is what we're gonna do next so i have this html code that i'm gonna copy and paste it in the list of tasks or the list task template all right so right below the item the name of the item i'm gonna paste this code if i save it and refresh the app you can see an update right below oh we have an error we have to save the update views and then the URL refresh again you can see an update right beside the task title all right so if I switch back to the code in the list task template that is the link right here and this is where the name comes handy that is the name that I was explaining right here okay so that name is what we're gonna used here to refer to that particular url and since it is a url that accepts primary key or an id so we are passing the id of the task all right so whatever task was selected here the id of that task will be passed along with this url okay so if i click save or which is already saved and click on update is to be able to take us to the update view now the reason why we're having this error is if I open the update view or if we look into the update view we have this update task.html which is not created so we have to create that next and we have a piece of code right here that we can copy and paste copy Create a new template file. I'm gonna right click template, new template, paste the code right here, save it as update task.html. All right, so once we have the same name as the name in the view of the task HTML. If we refresh, the error should be gone and we can now update. I'm gonna click back. If I click update, we should not be having errors. And the detail of that task or that object will be rendered in the form. So this is where this is coming from. So if I remove this instance, save it, refresh, you can see the form is blank though we are referring to the id but it's not rendering the object in the form so this is where we need that instance okay the instance should be equal to the query set i'm gonna undo we have instance equal query set save it refresh we have the data right in the form so i can update this i can change the title I can now mark it as complete and click save or click update 
it's updated it is marked as complete like if I click on update again you can see the checkbox is checked if I go back now what we want to do is to strike out this task to show that it is completed all right so I'm gonna head back to the code and then pick the last piece of code copy and then paste it in the list task template so the reason why we have to put it in there is we have to modify the text right here okay we'll draw a line across it so this is the list template so that's where I'm gonna update or paste the code so right below or right above the task I'm gonna add an if condition okay we add this if condition and the if condition states if tax.complete equals equals true then we're gonna add the strike keyword strike and the title will be striked else we're gonna have the title without the strike and then we're gonna have the update button right so I'm gonna end the if right between the task and then the and the update button right I'm gonna add an if so in Django if we have if statement open right here we have to close it somewhere if not we're gonna have an error and to close the if statement we're gonna have an if right here save it refresh you can see right there we have strike across the title of the task if I click on update again remove the complete the strike is gone all right so now the reason why I put this and if just before the update is if I mistakenly mark this as complete I should be able to go back and uncomplete it okay but if the update key is within the end if or within the if statement like if I move it up and then the end if is below it so once I mark the task as complete I will not be able to have the option to update it again you can see when I refresh the update is gone so I'm gonna mark this as complete and you'll see that the update is gone right so if you want to have the option to undo the completion of the task you'll have to move this update out of the if statement you just moved it out I'm gonna click save refresh I'll still have the update button so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button in the next video we'll look at how to delete these objects and in another one we're gonna refine the look of this app and then complete this series see you in the next video